did a show, I did not do a call, and she cuts me out. So, I drove all the way out. Give an honor to God who writes all this stuff. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be here. I have two daughters. So I wrote a poem called Rules for Dating One of My Daughters. <laughs> One, you can never date any of my daughters. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Two, if by any slight less than 1% chance my wife convinces me to give you a shot, Know that at some point in your life, if you are still dating, you actually might get shot. <laughs> Three, get a job. Four, understand that even if you do get a job, I still will not like you. <laughs> Five, these rules are not cliche. If you so much as lay a finger on her, I will cut off your toes. So that you would have a hard time walking to ever touch anything else again. Six, she is my all-star. Not your game. Seven, I know everything. <laughs> Eight, understand that I am a man. I once was a boy just like you. I thought the same thoughts that you were thinking. I had the same fantasies and dreams. I had the same crushes and heartbreaks. We grew up different times, but I know you. I was once you. I survived dating and eventually married my wife. You probably will not survive dating my daughter. <laughs> Nine. You don't want to get in. Ten, pull up your pants. Eleven, get security to watch your house at night. Twelve, these two princesses of mine are gifts from God, and if you think I'm going to let some random child bump in the latest hit from Power 107 to stroll up into my house after all the things that I have built to keep godly, safe, and secure, after all that I have slaved to teach and instill, after all that I have sacrificed to provide a good education, put food on the table, clothes on their back, after all the days and nights I laid in bed with my wife crying and praying for them, if you think that I'm just going to let you walk up in here with no home training and date my daughter, you have lost your mind. Thirteen, go find your mind. Uh, <laughs> Fourteen, if you lie to me, I will lie to you and tell you that I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> Fifteen, I don't mind going back to jail. <laughs> Sixteen, speak with proper English. Third grade vocabulary speech will not work in my house. Amen. Seventeen, open the door for her, even though you don't see your friends doing it. Eighteen, be home 30 minutes early. Nineteen, have a church home. Twenty, if you grasp how much I love them, if you understand that I would lay my life down for them, if you really knew how much daddies love their little girls, you might understand how to treat them. So talk to someone, familiarize yourself with how family works, pick up a book, read it, learn what love is, buy a goldfish, and love that goldfish, <laughs> then graduate to a turtle, and then maybe a dog, and then possibly someone else's daughter. <laughs>